Let's talk more baseball. Chris Ossenheimer from the Illyria Chronicle Telegram comes on in, and well, this wasn't exactly a fun homestand. No, no. Um, uh, to quote. Manny acted uh, after the, the game today. Um, it's not a good home stand. You have. That's a direct quote. Not yes. A good not a good home I pulled stand. that out. I didn't even know you said it. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you have uh, two of the worst teams in baseball coming in after you've just been swept in the road, you're thinking that's going to be something that maybe a little remedy to the losing ills, and they lose four of six games. And it was uh, starting pitching was bad, hitting was bad, everything was bad, and now they have to go to Detroit where it doesn't seem like it's going to get any easier. Look, I know they've had injuries, but I mean, you, you sweep Detroit at home and then everything just seems to go south. And I think it all starts with starting pitching. No, yeah, it does. It does. It's, um, they're, they're not getting, they're getting consistent efforts from one of their pitchers, Derek Lowe, who they never thought they would get. And they're, they're going to have to pitch better. Their bullpen's still pretty solid, although it's, it's shown, you know, it's, uh, they've had a couple hiccups recently. but. Um, yeah, it, it, obviously it all starts with starting pitching, and when you don't have a power-packed offense, you have to have quality pitching, and they haven't gotten it in, in their, over their last nine games, really. Johnny Damon's been struggling. He goes on paternity leave, so that gives Matt Laporta a shot to come back up. Does he have a chance to stay past his paternity leave? Um, I, think, I think they have to keep him past the, the three days. I mean, what are you going to really see from, you know, a three-day span? But... Um, yeah, he needs to. He, he he definitely can't come up and and struggle again. I mean, it, it, it's it's a lot to put in a guy, but he needs to start producing and he needs to do it now that he's up. This is his chance, and it might be his only chance of the season. So he needs to hit. Did you catch up with him before the game today? I know he talked a little bit before, and you know I, I still think that there's this whole well, CC Sabathia for Matt Laporta feeling. When I, I don't know if that's fair, legit, or should even be said. Yeah, he um he actually addressed that today, and he's he's always a polite guy. Always, you know. We'll talk to you, um, but he had, he had it, you know, it seemed like a little edge to him today, and um, he, he addressed those people that were um, criticizing him for the Sabathia trade. Like he had any power in that. You know, right. I, I he think said, that's the, the hard part to stomach on that. Yeah, he said he, had, he has no control over um, other, everybody else's happiness. If they're, if they're uh, upset with his performance, he's sorry. But, um, uh, yeah, well, but when you are traded for a guy like that and you're highly touted and and you don't produce, you're going to get attacked, and that's just the nature of the business. I mean, he's a you know, first-round draft cho choice. He's making a lot of money. Um, it comes with territory. Well, I, the one thing about it, though, is that you look back to that CeCe Sabathia. It wasn't like CeCe Sabathia was going to stay. And, and I've said this many times, especially on the radio. You know, the, the Indians were lucky to get anything for CeCe Sabathia, especially after watching Manny Ramirez walk out the door and watching Albert Bell leave. And then to, to see all these things happen, and then to even get anything for CC at the time. That's why I always find it interesting. If you want to look at it like Michael Brantley was a part of the deal, like it was the Michael Brantley deal rather than it was the Matt Laporta deal. No, that's true. If you, if you do look at it that way, then... Which no one does. That's other exactly. Than me, that's, that's positive. But it was the, the Laporta was so highly touted. And to get him, like you said, they were lucky to get anybody, but to get a, a marquee p prospect like that and to have him you know, pretty much fall on his face in the big leagues up to this point, it's it's disappointing, and he, you know, he was he was the highlight of the trade, and that's the way it goes. And yeah, but they did get Brantley, and Brantley's starting to play better. And who knows if he comes out of it, you know, as an everyday starter for the next five years, then they will have gotten something at least. All right, let's talk about something that was a good trade when they got Carlos Santana. He'll be back this week, hopefully. Knock on wood. He's got a rehab coming up at uh, Lake County tomorrow. Uh, how much did they miss him? Uh, they definitely miss him. I mean, him and Hafner. I mean, they, for a spell they were without their. Uh, three, four, five hitters, and Cabrera as well. He's back. Um, they, they definitely miss him. I mean, you, you know, um, no offense to Lou Marson, but you know, he's he can't catch every day if they want to be successful. And um, it, it's Santana's been. He's he's been. He gets on base. He drives and runs, and he's definitely a, a big weapon in that lineup. And, and it has hurt them. So that'll be nice to get him back for Detroit, and then you know, and then wait for Hafner another month or whatever. Jason Kipnis, I, you know, I was concerned about his second year, and I was I'm like, I wonder what we're going to see the next time around. What are we going to see this season? And he's lived up to the hype, and then some. Yeah, he's, uh, I mean, he's, I think he's leading the, the, the team in pretty much every offensive category. You don't expect to see that the whole year, but I think you're starting to see a guy who's, you know, starting to establish himself, and it's his first full season in the big leagues, so he's starting to establish himself, and I think that they're very optimistic that he's going to be, you know, one of their major core part, uh, parts uh, moving forward.
Uh, the other thing that I think has impressed me over the last week is Lonnie Chisinau. I, he's almost a different guy than he was this time last year when, you know, when we were seeing him up with the team. I mean, he just he seems more grounded. I don't know if that's being a father or maybe it's the adult uh, film mustache that he's got right now. But I mean, he is he is playing good baseball and he is, seems to be a different guy than the last time he was here. And I think he's going to be settled in for a long run. And yeah. I think that's what fans want. Oh, definitely. Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's it's you know three games or four games or whatever it is, but. Um, he never ever really made a splash when he came up here last year um, like he has immediately. And I think he is a different player. I think he's more comfortable. I think he realized he wasn't making the team out of spring training this year and that he needed to go down, work on some things. But he's, he's never dominated in the, in the minors, which is kind of alarming. But I think that he is coming together. And, you know, again, it's an early sample, but he looks a, a lot more fluid, a lot more comfortable than he ever did last year at all. Um, interleague this month, I mean, they're gone for all but, what, uh, six games? I think eight. They eight. play 18. Yeah, I mean, almost everything's on the road this month. Right. And I. You know, I said this to Manny after they left the first trip, and I said, sometimes it's good to get away from home. This also seems like it's a good, pretty good time to get away from home and kind of refocus. And I, I know Justin Masterson talked about that as well today, too. Yeah, he did. Um, it's, it's a good time, uh, definitely, after you, after you go through a homestand like this to, to uh, get on the road. And th throughout the season, they've played better away from progressive field for some reason. So, uh, yeah, it, it is a good time. I don't know that it's a good time to go to Detroit right off the bat, but yeah, being on the road, they've played better, so it stands to reason that uh, this is the time when they need to they need to do it again. All right, read you every day. What do you got? Anything good coming up? I know you had a good, good Derek Lowe. Always. Derek pretty Lowe's good. already run, but um, yeah, just the just the the disastrous homestand tomorrow. There you go. Read it tomorrow in the Elyria Chronicle Telegram.